what is bcd bcd means binary coded decimal it is simply a representation of single decimal digit in binary form we have been using decimal number system since our childhood and we know that the radix of decimal number system is 10 this radix 10 means we have 0 to 9 distinct digits to represent any number and now if we talk about bcd code so bcd code is nothing but a binary number coded in the form of decimal numbers and in bcd code any of the decimal number is always represented using four digit manner why it is like this you tell me to represent largest decimal digit how many binary numbers we supposed to use the largest decimal digit is 9 and to represent 9 in binary we supposed to use four digit binary number that is 1001 so that is why in bcd code each decimal digit is represented by 4 bit binary number and here in this table you can see how this 0 to 9 decimal number is being represented in 8421 bcd code and they all are represented in 4 bit manner now let's see the bcd code we are going to learn where this bcd code is being actually used right bcd code is commonly used in digital display systems systems like seven segment display where each digit is encoded in bcd and then translated into signals that activates a specific segment in display to represent the corresponding digit if you see another application of bcd code then it is used for data storage where decimal values needs to be stored in a form that's more human readable this bcd code is even employed in some input and output systems where human readable decimal inputs needs to be processed or displayed in digital system without any loss of precision and this bcd code is even used to represent the digital output corresponding to analog input so these are some specific use where this bcd code is being used in actual system and after understanding what is bcd code and where this bcd code is being used now we'll discuss different types of bcd code in my previous video we have discussed about different types of codes and there we have discussed about varieties of binary codes if you want to refer that video the link will be in description and here in i button and there we have discussed in detail about different types of bcd codes so because we have discussed it previously in this video we are not going to discuss the types of bcd codes but out of different types of bcd codes the 8421 are the most used code in 8421 code each position has some specific weight the lsb has weight of 1 whereas the msb has weight of 8 so this is the lsb and this is the msb so this digit has weight of 8 and this digit has weight of 1 so let's take an example of this number 0101 so if we write this 0101 over here 0 into 8 is 0 1 into 4 is 1 0 into 2 is 0 and 1 into 1 is 1 so if we add up all this together we'll get phi as our answer so bcd representation of this phi in 8421 code is 0101 so here we have seen 10 combinations of binary numbers which are assigned to 0 to 9 decimal numbers but here there is an interesting thing we have four digit binary number so if we consider that then 2 raised to 4 makes 16 so we have 16 possible combinations of bcd code but here out of 16 we have assigned only 10 of them so what about these other combinations these combinations are called invalid or don't care combinations and why it is like this because bcd code is representation of single decimal digit in binary form and here 10 to 15 are numbers not digits basically a number is combination of digits with each digit having some specific weight for example 15 is number and not digit but if we take 1 and 5 then they are called digits and what is the definition of bcd code it is a single decimal digit in binary form and these are the numbers not digits that is why we have considered up to 10 combinations so we have seen what is bcd code where does it used their types and how they are constructed and now we'll see different conversions of bcd codes 
and first of all we are going to start with decimal to bcd code conversion here we have decimal number 35 so now we'll start converting this 35 into bcd code so first of all we'll write this 3 and 5 in this manner so first of all we'll start with the 5 and what is the bcd code equivalent to 5 that is 0101 so we'll write 0101 over here and what is the bcd code equivalent to 3 that is 0011 so we'll write these things here and now we'll combine these two numbers and this will be the bcd code equivalent to decimal number 3 5 similarly we'll take another example of fractional decimal number so we'll write this number 15.29 so here we'll start with the 5. So what is the BCD code equivalent to 5? That is 0101. Then the BCD code of 1, that is 0001. Then we'll write the BCD code of 2, 0010. And then we'll write BCD code of 9, that is 1001. And now we'll combine all these numbers together and we'll keep in mind that we are going to use this fraction number in between these two numbers. So this is our entire number, the BCD code equivalent to this decimal number. So that's how you can convert the decimal number into this BCD code. Here you have two examples to solve it by yourself. Do it now and quickly write the answer in comments below so that you can have verification check that you have learned the concept correct or not. So now we'll jump to BCD to decimal conversion. So here we have our BCD code. So when we start converting BCD to decimal, we'll start with the least significant bit and we'll create a group of four digit from the LSB side. So 0100 is our first group of four digit and then 1001 is the second group of four digit. Now let's find what is the decimal equivalent to this BCD code that is two. And then find what is the decimal equivalent to this BCD code and that is 9. So together it becomes 9 to 92. So 92 is decimal equivalent to this BCD code. Now we'll take example of fractional BCD code. So in fraction number we'll start with the LSB point. We'll create a group of four digit. 1001 is the first group of four digit. And then we'll go for the next group of four digit. But here you can see we have only one digit left. So what we'll do, we'll add three zeros to this number on left hand side. Keeping in mind that adding zeros on left hand side will not create any change in its magnitude. So the number is 0001 and now we'll go for the numbers after the fraction point. So here also we have only two digits. So what we'll do, we'll add two zeros on right hand side. So the number become 1000. Just remember that adding zeros on right hand side after fractional point will not change the magnitude of that number, right? So now we'll write the decimal equivalent to this. That is one, then nine, and then eight. And we'll keep this fraction point in between these two numbers. That means one nine point eight will be the decimal equivalent to this fraction BCD code. So that's how you can convert decimal to BCD and BCD to decimal code. And now it's time to convert octal to BCD. In order to convert this octal number into BCD code, first of all, you need to convert this octal number into decimal number and then convert this decimal number into BCD code. So this will be the process. So let's take an example. This is our octal number. So first of all, we are going to convert it into decimal number. So to convert this octal into decimal, we'll write it in this manner. 2 into 8 raised to 1 plus 5 into 8 raised to 0 and by solving this we will get 21 as decimal equivalent to 25 in octal. Now we will convert this decimal into BCD and how to convert this we have just learned previously. You can pause this video now and implement the concept you have just learned right. So what will be the BCD equivalent to this one? triple zero one so zero 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 one and what will be the BCD equivalent to two that is zero zero one zero so we'll write that here. And combining these two numbers will get 0010001. This is the BCD equivalent to this 2 phi octal. In simplified manner, you can write this number like this also. Now here you can see two octal numbers and you need to convert these octal numbers into BCD code. Pause the video, quickly convert it and then write the answer in comment section. Once you're done with that, play the video and now we'll move ahead. In this section, we are going to learn hexadecimal to BCD conversion. In order to convert hexadecimal number into BCD, first we need to convert hexadecimal into decimal number and then this decimal will be converted to BCD code. 
So simple concept is like this. Whatever number system you have, first you need to convert that number system into decimal number system and then that decimal number system will be converted to BCD code. And why it is like this? Just remember the name of this code, binary coded decimal. So we are coding decimal number into the binary form. And that is why every number system is converted first into decimal and then into BCD code. So let's take an example. Here we have A6, a hexadecimal number. So first we'll convert into decimal number. So A is 10, so 10 into 16 raised to 1 plus 6 into 16 raised to 0. So together it becomes 166. 166 is the decimal equivalent to A6 in hexadecimal. And now we'll convert this into BCD. So BCD equivalent to 1 is 0001. BCD equivalent to 0 is 0110 and again 0110. So when we combine all these numbers together, we get final BCD code for A6. And in order to simplify this, you can ignore these three zeros and write this number like this. Now here I have provided two hexadecimal number and you're supposed to convert these two hexadecimal number into BCD code. And then quickly write the answer in comments to check you have got the concept correct or not. There are few more conversions that can be done with the BCD code but in this video we are keeping up to here only. The other conversions we'll do into the next video so to learn that thing click the link of next video. If you enjoyed like this video do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel. So see you into the next video.